Alright, you guys wanted it. Here is a video dedicated to this this here fiddle, my my RG550. Now this one's a 93. You guys ask me all the time about Ibanez guitars. Why don't I have more Ibanez? Do I like Ibanez? And I've never been a huge Ibanez fan, to be honest. As much as I love 80s guitars, I always gravitated way more, and in the super strap realm, to things like this, a Charvel. Now, Charvels are great too, but um, there's only really been one model of Ibanez I've ever truly truly liked and um, I'm holding it right here. Now before we get into all that stuff, this video is sponsored by Sweetwater. Thank you so much to the guys over at Sweetwater for sponsoring this. I'm going to link down below and I'm going to talk about them here in a second. The new reissues, I say new, they've been out for a while, reissues of the 550 Genesis. They've actually improved a couple things on them and I'm going to talk about those here in a second but that is all linked down below and thank you again to Sweetwater for sponsoring the video. So yeah, this is pretty much the only Ibanez I've really, truly ever like wanted, went after, any of that stuff. They make amazing guitars. You know, I love the whole story of Ibanez, how they pretty much started out making copies and clones of Les Pauls and Strats and all this kind of stuff, which pretty much spawned the whole lawsuit era in the 70s of the guitars, and eventually, I mean, really just doing their own thing. Like, look at this. Ibanez completely has a look, you know? Maybe not to non-guitar players, but to guitarists, if you saw the silhouette of this with that headstock and the sharp kind of accoutrements uh, to the guitar, you'd be like, that's an Ibanez. You know, I feel like most of us would, would recognize the silhouette of an Ibanez fairly quickly. It is definitely, uh, they've done their own thing with it. So the 550 is, like I said, the only one I've ever really cared about. You know, I don't know why. The 550 is probably because I saw pictures of Paul Gilbert and I thought he was playing a 550. Sometimes he's playing a 560. If you don't know how the whole Ibanez system works, I believe 560 is, it, it's like, like kind of like how Martin has like the, uh, the numbering system that they use. A lot of times it's referring to the pickup. So 560 would be an HSS configuration. 550 is the HSH configuration. And there's all kinds of different stuff too that goes into this one. But in, in true Ibanez you know, fashion, this one is a basswood, basswood, however you say it, a basswood body. And these original ones came with a one-piece maple neck, which is, it's not bad, but it's it's not the strongest neck. I know the new ones, which are also made in Japan, so that is a huge, huge thing for me. I thought for sure that these new 550s would be made in Indonesia or something like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm just like, no, 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 it's gotta be made in Japan. You know, it's a 550, make it in Japan. And they are made in Japan. But um, they have what's called the Super Wizard neck, which is a five piece maple neck. So way stronger, but I haven't had any issues out of mine. So um, so yeah, but that is that is one of the differences uh, there between this one and the, and the newer ones, which to me is an improvement. I, I don't think you're gonna like tonally listen to this one and be like, no, no, that's, it needs to be a one-piece maple neck to really get that true 550 tone after I smother it in chorus and all the other things. <laughs> and I'll give you guys some different tones here because uh, one of the things I always thought was really fascinating about Ibanez is their switching system. They're not messing around with their switching. You know, I'll put a little diagram up here. Like it does so much stuff. So that was always fascinating to me with Ibanez was just like taking it to the next level. I remember when I would take my my guitar into the tech to have it worked on. <laughs> he hated that the five-way selector switch because it did so much stuff. He was like, oh, I hate working on these guitars. So anyone who's curious about 550s, just like I said, look into them. They're, they're a fascinating guitar from Ibanez. They're one of the most like popular, iconic selling super strats ever in history. So it's certainly a little piece of that, you know, hair metal, 80s, whatever you want to call it. I mean, these have kind of like moved past that and into different generations, but that's what I associate them with is the 80s because that's when they came out, 87, all the way to 93. And then I think they've had another reissue since then, but I don't totally know for sure, it was a few years later. 
But I think the new ones that they have here, they're, it's like a very, very close representation of this original line of them. Um, I, I want to get one of the Road Flare Red ones. So that's probably going to be next on my list. So even though I haven't necessarily gravitated to Ibanez as a brand, they make amazing stuff. The 550 is just one in particular. I love the necks on these. So anyways, I'm gonna bounce out of here, guys. Thank you again to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. If you would, check those links down below. It's a huge way to support the channel. And uh, yo, I will see you all later. Bye, homies. End it bluesy. Not, I, you, you guys got me. I forgot to end it bluesy in the last video. You're like, hey, what's up with that? So. I'm gonna end it bluesy, 80 style. You ready for this? Are you, are you, are you ready? Are you sure? just happened.